Driving around Queenstown nowadays can be kind of testing. The combination of construction work, slow rental cars and also pushy public transport can make for some angry locals on the whinge page. But that's the default complaint, isn't it? Blame others, mostly the tourists. Ooh, something's going down there. We're going to look at our own driving, local driving, and see if we're any better. Like, honestly, are we? I think. Is this job all done? Local driving, us as, as drivers around town. Are we any good or are we just as bad as the tourists, you reckon? No comment. No comment. Yeah, I reckon we're better than tourists. Better than tourists? I reckon you can spot a New Zealand driver over a tourist. Um, no, we're good. We're good? You reckon yeah, we're good? We're good. Uh, the amount of driving accidents that are coming across, um, cars on the wrong side of the road. No, yeah, I'll drive on the wrong side of the road. I don't want to say that the locals are better. Or the tourists are better? I think we're good, but we're not great. There's a lot of impatience, which I could be accused of myself, but it's um, there's some that cause impatience, and then there's some that are impatient for no good reason, I think. Very Rubbish. aggressive. Aggressive. Drivers, yeah. Yeah. Lots of um, swearing and stuff. And flipping the bird. Totally. We as locals, we're kind of quick to judge tourists on the road as bad drivers but are we getting dangerous on the roads nowadays? Yeah I don't know if, we, if we're becoming more dangerous um, I think that's that impatient driving from from what your class as locals has always been there. If you are local and you're going through the gorge every single day to and from work you could probably go through the gorge with your eyes shut mm. so you come through the gorge and you've got a, a potential tourist with a juicy rental car in front of you or something like that Maui camper van and they're only doing about 60 k an hour the, mm. I'd say they're pretty scared. When we go overseas, we're not good. Yeah. And I think uh, that's a compromise, and we have to be forgiving of that. Do you feel comfortable driving on the road? Well, not, no, really not comfortable. Mm. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I think perhaps just with Queenstown growing as fast as it is, with the numbers of cars on the road increasing by a large amount every single year. Well, the town is really over full as far as vehicles go. I mean, it was. I don't know what the, you know, it was designed for 50 years ago and because of the buildings around the place it's pretty hard to, to sort that without knocking down half the town and redesigning it. There's the congestion there, there's a lot of road works going on, um, there's a lot of visitors to the area uh, who don't know the roads and will be driving slow. All that uh, I guess is starting to, um, to cause people to be frustrated yeah. and then they start making stupid decisions about they're driving. I'd have to say tourists are the worst just because of the lack of skill, but I mean and locally, I think tradies. <laughs> I mean. We're just there going, just get out of our way, please. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately they won't. I guess the, the main message would be that um, impatience can, can be a real issue. Mm. They won't pull over, we're safe to do so, They <laughs> it's just crazy, but we want to all get home safely to our partners and yeah. You know, you don't take it into your own hands. We, you know, we don't want people tailgating and trying to force people off the road and grabbing keys and, and things like that. It sounds like I'm a dobber, but the more people that call Star Triple Five that report a dodgy driver, because none of us potentially know that it is a tourist or not a tourist, but. Star Triple Five, report it. Just get on the phone. Call Star Triple Five, let the police know. Um, and we can start putting in place, you know, our units, if we're in the area, we'll try and intercept that car and, and deal with it appropriately. And they're brilliant. The police here are so proactive at trying to, you know, decrease the amount of accidents and fatalities in our area. A to B. I mean, we're all guilty of wanting to get there in a hurry. But with the town pressures, it's time that we ease up on the horn, resist flipping the bird, and also ignore the urge of trying to post on the whinge page. I'm not going to monitor uh, a, a media thing and, and try and chase things up from there. So yeah. um, if it concerns somebody that much, they should be coming to us. There is a solution, friends of Queenstown. It's Star Triple Five. This is Lauren Prebowell for LWBTV.
It's so cold, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and so our locals... Uh, sorry, you just, like, got my second question. <laughs> Simply, I think people just don't understand the consequences of um, how they drive affects others, you know, as long as... It's a bit like... You see the same thing even in a supermarket. I mean, <laughs> some will quite happily stand there and block you without realising it, and it's, it causes the to same problem. Start person. at the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'll probably start in primary school. I think. You know, <laughs>